Welcome to WS Matrix. Let's talk about sequence-to-sequence -sequence learning with neural networks, a pioneering approach developed by Google researchers that has revolutionized the way we handle sequential data in machine learning. Check out the paper in the link below. To start with, let's explain what sequence-to-sequence -sequence learning is. It's a type of model used for tasks where both the input and the output are sequences, but not necessarily of the same length. These tasks include machine translation, translating English sentences to French, for instance, speech recognition, and text summarization. The core of sequence-to-sequence -sequence learning is a structure known as an encoder-decoder model. As the name suggests, it has two main components, an encoder and a decoder. Both of these components are recurrent neural networks, RNNs, which are a type of neural network designed to handle sequential data by maintaining an internal state that captures the information from all previous steps in the sequence. The encoder processes the input sequence and condenses the information into a fixed-length vector, often referred to as the context vector. This vector, in theory, contains the essence of the input sequence. The decoder, on the other hand, takes this context vector and generates the output sequence from it. Now, this sounds straightforward, but the magic of this model lies in how it's trained. The entire encoder-decoder model is trained end-to-end -end using a method called teacher forcing. Teacher forcing is a very effective technique. During training, the decoder is given the correct output token from the previous time step as input. Here you can see that the correct output token is passed on as new input to the next time step. Teacher forcing is allows the model to learn more effectively from its mistakes. However, there's a bit of a twist here. During inference, that is, when we're using the model to make predictions, as opposed to training, we don't have access to the correct output tokens. So instead, the decoder uses its own previous predictions as input for the next time step. This process is repeated until the decoder generates a special token signifying the end of the sequence. Now, in Google Research's paper, researchers have made a significant contribution by using long short-term memory, LSTM, cells for both the encoder and the decoder. LSTMs are a special type of RNN that can learn long-term dependencies in the data, which is a big advantage for tasks like machine translation where the meaning often depends on the entire sequence, not just the nearby words. The LSTM cells in sequence-to-sequence -sequence models work by maintaining a so-called cell state, which is a kind of conveyor belt that carries information across time steps. LSTMs have gates that regulate the flow of information onto and off of this conveyor belt. They decide what information to keep or throw away each time step based on the current input and the previous hidden state. This mechanism helps LSTMs mitigate the vanishing gradient problem, a common issue with traditional INNs where they struggle to learn from information far back in the sequence. Now, let's consider a concrete example. Imagine we're translating the English sentence the cat, which already ate a mouse, is sleeping, to French. The word is in this sentence depends on the cat, despite the lengthy clause in between. An LSTM is designed to handle this by carrying critical information in its cell state across many time steps, making it an ideal choice for sequence-to-sequence -sequence learning. The paper by Google researchers demonstrated that a deep LSTM-based sequence-to-sequence model could outperform more traditional phrase-based machine translation systems on a major benchmark. This was a significant result at the time, because phrase-based systems had been the state of the art in machine translation for many years. The paper showed that not only could neural networks be used for machine translation, but they could also surpass existing methods, sparking a revolution in the field. Another critical aspect of the paper was the introduction of a technique called beam search during inference. Beam search is a heuristic search algorithm that explores the most promising output sequences, keeping track of a fixed number of the best partial translations at each time step, the beam width. By doing this, it balances the need for computational efficiency with the desire for high-quality translations. That's it, folks. A whirlwind tour of the groundbreaking sequence-to-sequence -sequence learning with neural networks paper and its impact. The sequence-to-sequence -sequence framework and its variations have since become a staple of many natural language processing tasks, from question answering and text summarization to dialogue systems and more. As always, we have more videos on AR, so if you found this interesting, be sure to leave your thoughts in the comments below, and hit the subscribe button to stay updated on future content. Keep learning and see you in the next video.